Welcome everyone to Community Connections for Saturday, June 6th. I'd like to share a couple ways that you can help love your neighbor here in Duluth, and then some thoughts and actions we can take on the larger important issue of racism. First, a note of thanks to everyone who's been a part of our sandwich ministry. We continue to do that twice a month, delivering sandwiches that are made in our homes to the church, and then they're assembled with other items, put into lunch bags, and then dropped off at the Steve O'Neill Apartments. If you'd like to be a part of one of the teams, please contact Tom Hamilton and be a part of that important effort. Also, we've heard from Chum that they could use some volunteers to help pack boxes of food at the food shelf. So if you'd like to volunteer for that, please go to their website, chumduluth.org, or you can call 720-6521. And now I'd like to speak especially to those of us who are white and ask that now is the time for us to do important work. Now is the time that we look in the mirror and ask ourselves, how we can dismantle the systems of injustice that we have benefited from for the past 400 years. It is not our black and brown fellow humans responsibility to do the work or to tell us how to do it. It is time for us to get uncomfortable. It is time to learn what racism is and how we participate in it every day. It's not enough to be a good person. It's never been enough. We need to do better through learning, acting, and praying. We've created a new section of our website, stpaulsduluth.org slash anti-racism resources to give you ideas on ways to learn, to act, and to pray for racial reconciliation and furthering anti-racism efforts in collaboration with our black and brown fellow siblings. Ways that we can learn. There are many resources on the website. I'd like to just highlight a few of them. There's articles, uh, there is uh, links to Just Mercy. Uh, Just Mercy is the book that was written by Brian Stevenson, who was going to be the keynote speaker at the 100th anniversary of the Clayton Jackson McGee commemoration on June 15th. A movie was made from his book. That movie is now free on various platforms and I really encourage everyone to watch it and discuss it with those in your household. A parishioner has also shared with me that she's doing this with her adult daughters. It's called the 21 Day Racial Equity Habit Building Challenge. And we've posted it on our website. For 21 days, you do one action to further your understanding of power, privilege, supremacy, oppression, and equity. Coming up this Monday from 2 to 3.30, the, there is a conversation on the Duluth lynchings 100 years later uh, with Carl Crawford from our city, as well as several other panelists. And information in the link to that online offering is on our website. So there's lots of ways that we can learn. There's also ways that we can act. Holy Trinity Lutheran Church on 31st Street in Minneapolis has really become one of the central sites to receive donations of food and diapers and supplies. They receive them every day, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So if you're heading down to the cities and have some items, uh, please drop them off there. They also have a great need for volunteers. They have uh, three shifts throughout the day, and you can even just stop in. Not, it doesn't even have to be at the start of a shift. And help out. Uh, wear a mask. They have a volunteer check-in when you get to the church. And there's many different things uh, that uh, you can do to volunteer. The One, One Fund is a fund that exists to support the work of local African-American churches and ministries whose communities, due to historic inequities, are disproportionately impacted by the recent crises in the Twin Cities. 
both COVID-19 and the trauma surrounding the horrific death of George Floyd. So you can donate at bethechurchmn.com. There are other places to donate for local, uh, supporting the local businesses in the Twin Cities, like the Lake, Lake Street Council and others on our website. So those are some ways that we can learn and we can act. It is up to all of us to learn, to act, and to pray. I encourage you to do all three in these coming days. Blessings to you. Stay safe. Take care of others. Take care of yourself. And know that God loves you and God loves all.